What is the average distance between stars in the Milky Way? Scientists have found the answer. Welcome to the Space Diary channel. Before watching, I want to ask you to help our channel by liking and subscribing. The stars in the sky are not always very close or very far apart from each other when you look at them from the Earth with the naked eye. If you look up at the sky at night, you can see thousands of stars. Some of them will shine brighter, while others will look dimmer. You can also make out the outlines of well-known constellations, in which the stars seem to be close together. But what is the average distance between stars in the Milky Way? According to Anna Rosen of San Diego State University, USA, one should never rely on constellations to determine the distances between stars when looking at them with the naked eye. If two stars appear to be close together, they may not actually be. According to modern astronomers' calculations, on average, the stars in the Milky Way are five light years or 47 trillion kilometers apart. But the human eye is not able to determine such distances. On the other hand, some stars are actually located very close to each other in a double star system, and it seems to people that they are one star. The closest star to the Earth is, of course, the Sun, but if we exclude this star from the observational system, the closest star to us is Proxima Centauri. It is located at a distance of 4.25 light years or 40 trillion kilometers from the Earth. But in fact, this star is part of a triple star system and it is one five light year away from the other two. In other words, understanding the average distance between stars in our galaxy does not give a complete picture of the distribution of stars in the Milky Way. This is due, in part, to the fact that the position of stars changes over time. If people could live for thousands of years, they would be able to observe that the position of the stars in the night sky changes because the stars are in motion. For example, over thousands of years, the shape of sun stellations changes and now they look different from how our ancestors saw them. Currently, astronomers know that most stars appear in dense clusters where they are relatively close to each other. But over time, the gravity of galaxies causes these stars to be scattered through space. At the same time, gravity prevents stars from flying too far from each other, and scientists believe that the average distance between stars and the Milky Way is typical for many other galaxies. But it happens that stars fly away from their galaxies due to the influence of central, supermassive black holes. If such a star approaches a black hole but is not captured by its gravity, which will lead to the star being absorbed by the black hole, the bright object flying by will be accelerated. In this way, the speed of the star's movement in space will increase dramatically, which will lead to the fact that it will be able to overcome the strong gravity of the galaxy and fly away from it. Such stars are actually slowly leaving their home galaxy. When they get out, they will find themselves in intergalactic space, i.e., the vast emptiness that stretches millions of light years between galaxies. Was this video interesting for you? Please share your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for more interesting videos.